Hey guys, it's Comcast Suits here. We're back at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas for day three of Roller Coaster Rodeo, the final day of Roller Coaster Rodeo. This will definitely be the shortest day because we're going to leave a little early to head up to Dallas for Six Flags over Texas. But this morning we first have a Superman lift walk where we'll be climbing to the top of Superman Krypton Coaster's lift hill, which will be awesome. Then we have an infield tour of Poltergeist, which is a view you pretty much never get to see. And then we have exclusive ride time in the water park where we'll be riding Thunder Rapids, which is an absolutely phenomenal water coaster, probably my favorite. So with all that being said, we'll see you guys inside the park. All right, we're inside the park. We got our little sticker for the Superman tour. We got Tom, we got Gabe, Darius, my dad, and Lori. We're all ready to go make the treacherous climb up to the top of Superman. And here we go. The Superman Krypton Coaster Lift Walk at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. Roller Coaster Rodeo. You guys ready? We are ready. <laughs> Here we are, the very top of the lift. Ooh, yeah, sketchy up here. A little spongy. Colin's leaving us in the danger zone. There's the other crew. Bob, I can actually see Bob. I think he's taking a picture of us right now. All right, and now down we go. I hate this section right here. It's so sketchy. So we just finished our lift walk on Superman. How was that, everyone? Very good. Great. That was awesome. Great. Gabe? Very high up. <laughs> Very. It was, honestly, though, comparing that to the Diabolical Cliff um, lift walk, which we did Friday morning, that one was much more strenuous. That was brutal. Compared to this, this was a cakewalk. Yeah. Now it is time for the Spaghetti Bowl tour of Poltergeist. And here we go. Now into the lockout zone for Poltergeist. Look at that. Hi guys, welcome. Uh, just please refrain from climbing any part of the truck. Wow. Uh, Y'all guys are more than welcome to touch as much of the crazy crazy like to get. Only this is crazy. Just walking around the entire low zone of this ride. Just a giant mess of track everywhere. It's so cool. <laughs> so many people around getting pictures that you can never get. Look at that. I was saying I my drink tickets to my friends. Yeah. Wait, I love it.
As we're all sitting here, Rosing, this is a pretty comfortable bench, isn't it? I would watch football in this. There should be some park benches that are uh, premier yeah. launch coaster track. The Poltergeist Pull Up Challenge. Oh ho! We're now leaving this amazing Poltergeist lockout spaghetti bowl tour. It was absolutely sick getting views that you can never, ever get. Have a great day. Never, ever get of this attraction. I mean, where else can you literally climb on a coaster? In we go. Thunder Rapids. Alrighty, it's time for Thunder Rapids. We're now vlogging on the GoPro. Um, not sure if I'm going to be allowed to film. We're going to ask and see. Uh, if we are, it'd be a pretty nice POV. But this is one of my favorite water slides out there. So I am so excited to get back on this. All right, we just did four rides on Thunder Rapids. How was Thunder Rapids? Very wet. Very. Tom? It was very good. But Thunder Rapids, so good. There's a reason I rode it four times. It's one of my favorite water slides out there. When you come to Fiesta, Texas, even if you're not a water park person, you gotta come ride this. The fact that the waves come crashing over you after you go over each hill and you get airtime, amazing. All right, so I know we're nowhere near it, but we did Tornado once. It was really fun. Of course, it's just the same as Great Adventures, but it's a really fun, quick ride. But we are going to be leaving the water park now. The others are going to stay. We're going to go in Fiesta, Texas, get something to eat, and then get out of here and go north. But Gabe? I got very wet. Yes, and you had a lot of mimosas. <laughs> it was eight mimosas deep. Oh Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Tom? Uh, well, I had a few mimosas myself. Got to enjoy the tornado. Haven't been on one of those in about five years, and it's just as good as I remember. And shout out to the whole team, because World Coaster Rodeo is the top event I think I've ever been to. And Dad? So, great day today. With this overall event has just been absolutely spectacular. That's all I got to say. All right, we're back inside Fiesta, Texas. For just a few minutes, we're going to go in here to the Sanger Best Hall food court, grab some food, maybe grab some merch, and head north. There is Palindrome at Coda Land near Austin, Texas. You can see it peeking above the trees there. Kind of. Too many trees. There we go. There it is. Look at that. Pretty sick. But before we go to over Texas, we have to stop at a staple of Texas, Bucky's. Bucky's is a place that cannot even be put into words. I mean, just look how many people are in here. This will tell you everything you need to know. Quick stop inside Bucky's, got ourselves some 4th July Bucky shirts, along with a little bit of food for him. in Arlington or Dallas, Fort Worth, whatever you want to call it. Just checked into La Quinta, La Quinta, whatever it's called, our hotel of choice when we come to Six Flags over Texas. And sorry about that, look at that view of the park from outside our window. We'll be going in in just a few moments. Looking first to get on the coasters we missed when we were last here in 2020, which includes Aquaman since it wasn't open, Mine Train, Mini Mine Train, Lobby Bora, Runaway Mountain. There's also the Kitty Coaster, but I don't think we'll be able to get on that. So. We'll see you guys when we get over there. Well, we're just about here. Like I said, very quick walk from our hotel. And just like that, we are at the entrance for Six Flags over Texas. As I said, first plan of attack, we're gonna go over to Lobby Boris. I missed that last time, so we'll see you guys over there.
rode La Vibora, which was my first and only Inton bobsled because they're all gone now that the one at Great Escape closed, which actually used to be a great adventure. It was interesting, definitely not very smooth, a little on the janky side, but it was fun. Um, I can definitely tell that it's probably not gonna be around much longer just because it's a really old attraction. Dad, how was La Vibora? Uh, a little rougher than I remember these rides being, but this ride's pretty old at this point. I'd imagine it's on uh, probably on its last legs. Yeah. Right here we have Aquaman Power Wave, which I saw it just like this when I was here in 2020, but it was still under construction because they were adding the turntable. We're not gonna ride it yet because you can't use the membership skip the lines on it for whatever reason. So we'll wait until the line dies down. In the meantime though, we are gonna go over to Runaway Mine Train. Aquaman does look really, really nice, and a little later on, we are going to come back and try their Justice League, because I still have yet to ride any Justice Leagues other than Great Adventures and Over Georgia's, because I have terrible luck and they're always closed, but this one's open. Well, the back ride is Just did the mini mine train, and now it is time for the big mine train. So we just did Runaway Mine Train in the front row, and we did Mini Mine Train in the back, and this mine train, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe this is the first mine train ever built, and it holds up. It's got three lift hills, a really fun little ride. Dad, how was it? I, I thought it was pretty cool. It holds up really well for how old it is. It really does. The strangest thing I always find about this and this, among with uh, a few other rides here and at Fiesta Texas, you get to bring these on, which on this, I was getting a little worried I might drop it. I'm not going to lie, but uh, it was interesting. As we're making our way over to Runaway Mountain, you can see they're working on that dinosaur ride. It's basically a car ride retrofitted with a bunch of dinosaur animatronics, which they actually used to have at Great Adventure with all the dinosaur animatronics. That one is gigantic right there at T-Rex. They do have this also at Six Flags New England, but this looks much, much larger than that one. All right, finally found the entrance to Runaway Mountain. Into the cave we go is very, very reminiscent of Skull Mountain, just with a bit of a different theme, different ride system as well. We just got off of Runaway Mountain, and the best way I can describe that ride is literally just better Skull Mountain. Better forces, smoother, looks a little better. I like the theming. Literally just better Skull Mountain. Dad? I liked it a lot. It's very smooth. The uh, theming is cool. It's just, dark inside. It is very dark inside. Really dark Just the inside. brake hits a little too hard on the final brake run. I wasn't expecting that. But there's some really surprised, forceful elements in there. Like I said, just better Skull Mountain. Now we're gonna go on their Roaring Rapids, which has an excellent sign. We just got off the Roaring Rapids here and they're very similar to ours at Great Adventure. Same kind of model. I imagine they were probably built not long after ours, but I got drenched. The Rapids were a lot more plentiful on this. Great Adventures, you only have really two good sections of Rapids. This, there are multiple, they're all spaced out. And the jets aren't as strong on this one, but the rapids really get you wet. Dad, how was that one? It was pretty good. I really didn't get wet. I got soaked. I didn't get wet. But most of the people in the boat got pretty wet. Those little kids. Yeah, the little kids got soaked. They got soaked. They were real happy, too. Yeah, it was, it was really fun. Definitely one of the better rapids in the Six Flags chain. So now Justice League has reopened, so we're going to go give it a shot, see how we do. Definitely a different setup in here. 258. I'm going to try. It's highly maneuverable, so if you hit your in-and-out, it's connected to all of the Justice League team members. All right, this time 492, and then you kind of divvied up, so decent scores. All right, so we just did the Over Texas version of Justice League twice, and I have a lot of thoughts. So I believe this is one of the earlier versions. This one was definitely built before Great Adventure and Over Georgia's. Rides very differently. The ride system itself is definitely different. I mean, of course, the cars and the blasters are the same. But the way the game system actually works, the blasters, when you shoot, they're not hit scan like they are at like Great Adventure over Georgia. They are projectile based, kind of like you have to lead your shot almost like you would in a video game. Very strange. The pictures don't work at all, which is uh, interesting. The scores also don't show up. There's no picture spot at all, so you can't actually get your picture. And the rooms as a whole, there's a lot less opportunities to get points, but the scoring works completely differently than the other versions of the ride that I have ridden. So. Overall, very interesting. So, Dad, how did you feel about this version of Justice League? Well, since it is an older one, I mean, the 
a couple of interesting things. Some of the guns had laser pointer. Yes, yeah, so, and they, they only have a laser pointer in areas where there's nowhere to get points. Right. Like the canister room that you have in the second room of Great Adventure and here, here you get no points at all. They don't work. The screen framing is off a bit and actually the brightness and contrast on the screen is off. Well. Yes, the brightness is very low, but I did have an easier time aiming on this version of the attraction than I do on Great Adventures. Would you agree? I think so. I mean, for coming in first time and scoring, it was pretty good the first time around. Second time, second really time, good. I almost got 500, but which second is time for me, the gun I sat at did not work. Right. And I switched over, and that gun was still scoring points as I was scoring with the other. One. Definitely. So I think, as a whole, a lot of the Justice League rides are definitely kind of showing their age. This one, I would say, is definitely one of them. Doesn't mean it's not a great ride, because it is. I do like the other versions of the ride better that I've ridden, the Over Georgia and Great Adventure. I like their ride system and their layout a lot better. They're better paced, more engaging. This one has some really weird pauses where there's absolutely nothing going on. The spinning is a little strange. So definitely a different version of the attraction. I'm glad I finally got to experience it, something a little different than ours, but I do have to say this is probably my least favorite version of the Justice League attractions that I've been on. And it looks like, just like Dr. Diabolical and now El Toro, Aquaman also has free double-sided lockers, which is a really, really nice thing to see. This is a perfect setup for this. Six Flags Over Texas is the only Six Flags park to have an Auntie Anne's location. If I remember correctly, there's two. Uh, we did see another one in another area of the park, didn't we? I don't recall because you have obviously found it first since that is your favorite. I love Auntie Anne's, but there is at least one location right here next to Justice League. I hope more for Six Flags parks get them. Unfortunately, they are not on the dining plan, which hopefully we can see, you know, you, the ability to get a pretzel as a snack in the future, but really cool to see that. I didn't even notice it before, but there's their E6 gaming lounge at Over Texas. Definitely doesn't look as grand in scale as Fiesta's, but Fiesta's is definitely the flagship out of all the ones in the Six Flags stage. Now we're gonna go get some food at JB's. So Over Texas and Fiesta, they have these order kiosks. So I'm gonna try it just for the sake of the video, even though there's no line anyway. So we're gonna go entrees. Uh, where is it? Cheeseburger. Um, looks good to me. Add to cart. There's the cart. View cart. Scan now. I guess I scan right down here. All right, there we go. So it pops up here. So add to order. There we go. The meal credit. There we go. So, this should be good. Complete order. All right, there we go. Order covered by Dining Pass. And uh, there we go. That's it. Pretty nice system here. JV's was pretty good. Now we're going to go for a ride on Shockwave. Well, scratch that. Looks like it closes an hour early, so not gonna get on Shockwave today. So now we have finally ventured into Gotham City to go for what is probably my favorite ride here, Mr. Freeze. So we just did Mr. Freeze three times. Shout out to Ellis for helping us out with that. But that was so good. We did one ride in the back row of the backward side. Then we went to the forward side, did the back row of the forward side, and the front row of the forward side. And I really enjoyed all those rides. I definitely think I liked the front. Man, you guys are all wet, sorry. I definitely think I liked the forward side, front row, and the backward side, back row the best because you go the highest up on the spike, Dad. Yeah, How was like Mr. Freeze? I just love this ride. 
And I also got to ride the Robin train. Yes, we got to ride the Robin train from the Chiller Great Adventure. What a great ride. Wow. So over here, they have a bit of a preview for the Dino Off-Road Adventure attraction they're building. Got a little dinosaur here, a little photo op right there as well. Pretty cool. Look at this, Six Flags Over Texas, in addition to Fiesta, has paper maps. That's very rare. We just got ice cream over here at the Funnel Cake location. Unfortunately, they were out of Dole Whip, so we just had to get a regular ice cream. But the waffle cone was absolutely massive, and it was on the snack. I mean, probably the biggest snack I've ever seen given out. I would have shown videos, but it kind of leaked all over me, so just trust me on that one. But that is going to do it for our quick couple hours here at Six Flags Over Texas tonight. We will be back tomorrow all day doing some on-ride filming, which is going to be really, really fun. But, Dad, how was our quick couple of hours here at Over Texas? Really good. And, like, get back to that ice cream. I guess everything's big in Texas because I saw funnel cakes come out of there. I have never seen funnel cakes come out so big anywhere at all. But we had a great visit today. Can't wait to come back tomorrow. Definitely. It was a great visit. We got in a few rides. Got to go on Mr. Freeze. Got to go on quite a few of our missing credits. The only one we didn't get on was Aquaman, which we'll get on tomorrow. So no big deal there. But with all that being said, guys, that's going to conclude today's video where we went from Fiesta, Texas, here to over Texas in the same day. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, guys.